How to set up for painting. We always try to set up tables at least one hour ahead of time, but preferably as soon as possible. If it is a class, make sure to always ask the customers if they need something else, to change their water as needed and to give them clean paper towel every time they need one. If the group is big, try to help the artist as much as possible, especially with mixing colors or if one of the customers is struggling. To set up for artists, have the painting and a blank canvas. Make sure to give them a set of brushes, a plate, and a cup with water. When setting up for painting class, you will need the following. A set of paint that includes black, white, brown, yellow, red, and blue. Aprons over the chairs of each customer. Plates for mixing colors. And cups of water for cleaning brushes. A set of three brushes wrapped on paper towel that has a large flat brush, a medium flat brush, and a small round brush. An easel and a 16 by 20 canvas. Make sure the easel's handles are set up for the right canvas position. Up for horizontal, sides for vertical. If it is a walking, guide them to the crates with the instructions. Show them the different sizes of canvases and their prices. Let them know that it will say beginner, intermediate or advanced and wait for them to choose their instruction pamphlet and their canvas size. If it's not a class, here are some tips on how to guide your table. Start by making sure they have all the materials in their table. Let them know they have a mini on their table and wait for them to look at it for at least a minute. In the meantime, you can bring anything missing or verify another table. Come back and take their orders. Ask if it's going to be one tap or separate ones if you need to. Before you go to set up the orders on the tablets, explain how the project will be done. Some of these people have never painted before. Tell them to put a thin layer of water before they start so the colors for the background expand better in the canvas. Explain the amount of color that should go on the plate using one as an example. Also, show them how to mix colors making sure they don't put one on top of the other, but instead put them separate and blend them together in another spot by taking scoops of each as needed. Explain to them that the small round brush can be used like a pencil for drawing lines and then coloring in with other brushes. Let them know that it's better to paint on light layers than to put too much paint. If you can see the white or the layer behind it, don't worry. Wait for it to dry and put another layer of the same color. This is better than adding too much paint the first time, for it will take longer to dry and the layers on top can start blending instead of being something separate. Also, make sure each layer is dry before going to the next one. These are some of the most common questions. People often ask, how to get specific colors. Here you can see how to blend secondary colors and from here you can figure out how to do the rest. For orange, mix red and yellow. The more yellow, the lighter the orange. The more red you add, the more vibrant red it will look. For purple, mix red with blue. You can go from a navy blue to a wine red depending on the amount of each. For green, mix yellow and blue. Here you can go from mustard yellow, green, teal, turquoise, or aqua. To get gray, mix white and black. Now, any color can go lighter with white, but white is a strong color and can change the rest drastically. Make sure to start with less. You can go darker on any color by adding black. And like white, black is a strong color that with a small amount will change other colors drastically. If for any reason you add one color and the shade of the mix is not changing, take a scoop of that mix and the other color 
and make a whole new mix on another spot. That way you won't be adding more and more color and making your blob bigger. There are two good ways of making circles. One would be with your medium brush, putting it in one spot and moving one of the sides in a circle of motion while the other side stays in the same spot. You can also use a small brush and draw a circle and then paint inside. To make faded colors, make sure the brush is dry and with a small amount of color, so small that it looks faded on your plate. Then, start your circle or shape on the canvas as the instructions suggest. To make stars, you can mix white with water using a clean brush and clean water. Soak a flat brush in the mixture and with your fingers, splash the sky. To make trees, you can use either a small brush or the medium one. If you use a small brush, make a straight line and then from the line towards the outside, make lines that slightly curve. They should go farther from the middle line as you go down. With the medium brush, use it in a horizontal way and make sure to go farther from the center line as you go down. When making a gradient, mix all the colors first on your plate. Then start with the lightest color. To make sure they blend together and don't have a separation line, always start the next color on top of the part that had the previous one. If they're not blending because the previous one is dry, you can go back and forth with one color and the other. There is no need to clean your brush for this effect. Finally, don't forget to give your customers a coupon and explain to them how to use it.